Hmm. Yep, just as good a day as any to spend all day in here recording videos because it's raining, raining, raining out there. And yeah, a little behind-the-scenes secret here. The next few videos you'll see on my channel were all recorded in the same day. Don't look at me like that. I'm sure all the YouTubers do it. Greetings, one and all, and welcome to Tom's Hit Parade. Uh, yeah, sorry for the lack of videos the last, what's it been, two weekends or three um, at this point. Yeah, it's just, for the last couple of weekends, I've just lacked motivation to set the tablet up and the light and all this stuff and make videos for you. Just uh, not sure what it's been. Uh, work is hasn't been hectically busy, but, you know, just for some reason by the end of the week, by the end of the work week, I'm just drained and I just don't want to do anything. So... But I decided to force myself to uh, crank out some content here, and give you guys some stuff. Don't want to, don't want you guys to make to uh, think that this channel's gone dormant or anything. So, but uh, yes, bargain bag is the uh, order of business for today. Yes, as I mentioned last month, I'm trying to move bargain bag at least for the next couple of months to the beginning of the month, because come the end of December, I am busy with list week. Yes, you're, yes, I will be having my usual uh, Tom's year end spectacular ish. Uh, with all my lists for the year and all that stuff, but uh, yes, for now, Bargain Bag is my monthly hunt for buried audio treasures in the form of a mystery CD grab bag containing eight discs, or eight titles, that is, uh, compiled from the four for a dollar section, uh, it was on sale at that point, it's normally one dollar a CD, section at Epic Seconds, a store in downtown Eugene. If you're looking for CDs, DVDs, uh, video games, uh, and they do have a record loft on the second floor. So uh, if you're in the Eugene, Oregon area, Epic Seconds is right downtown. Check them out. It's a good store. Anyway, so yes, I will be opening that bag that I just showed you of CDs. I don't. I know what's inside it, but I don't know what's inside it. I bought all the CDs, but I I bagged like 24 bags at the same time. So just try and get me to remember what's in this specific bag, really. I didn't mark them, so that they would, by the time I open them, be a surprise to me all over again. <laughs> anyway, uh, I will open that bag in front of the camera, but before I do that, I'm going to break down what was in last month's bag in rough order from Castoffs to Keepers. And sad to say, there were only a couple of Keepers, maybe three in this batch. Uh, one of the downer months, but uh, yeah, some of the months I have more than half of them I want to keep, but this was one of the less impressive months. First off, we have Midtown. This is a... Uh, uh, I want to say post-grunge. They're not really post-grunge. They're more that um, kind of basically emo rock. Uh, um, the kind of stuff you would hear on, uh, what's that label? Fueled by Ramen. That kind of label. You know, uh, high beats per minute, uh, frenetically, well, not really screaming vocals, but, you know, yelling on the border of screaming. You know, yelling, still singing, but on the border of screaming. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, not bad, just didn't float my boat. And then we have, th this was post-grunge. Uh, it's a group called Dig, and this is their album, Yay Glasses. Their album, Radioactive. Uh, yeah, post-grunge, kind of run-of-the-mill. I didn't hear anything particularly ear-grabbing in it, sad to say. And then we have Country, uh, Mark Chestnut. He's a pretty well-known country singer. Uh, and this, uh... Texas is Bigger Than It Used To Be is one of the songs on this album that I liked. Uh, my Heart's Too Broke To Pay Attention. Yeah, Broke, pay, as in broke money. Good, good. Nice little play on words on that song title. Uh, yeah, other than that, this album just didn't have a whole lot to offer, according to me, my own personal opi opinion. And then we have Jeffrey Gaines. This guy is kind of... Um, he reminds me of Lenny Kravitz. A little bit bluesier than Lenny Kravitz. Uh, still, though, I just didn't find a whole lot to enjoy on this one. And I honestly don't know if with this bag, if it was my frame of mind at the time I listened to the CDs, or if, you know, if they would hit me in the same way if I listened, if I listened to them in more of a in-the-mood-for-music day. I don't know. And then we have a New Age musician and also a TV host or TV presenter, as the Brits would say, uh, John Tesh. And this is his album, Tour de France. This was uh, 
an album done in, sorry, I'm, I'm covering my face up with the CDs, an album that was done uh, in commemoration of the Tour de France bicycle race. Uh, I like some of John Tesh's work, uh, his, some of his earlier stuff, and this is, I don't know if this was his first album, but it was one of his first, and there are a couple of, in that period that I liked. This one just kind of fell flat for me. Not sure why. But then we're getting into the uh, pretty much the keepers. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep the Indigo Girls, uh, Swamp Ophelia. This was their fifth album, I believe, and I've got their second, third, and fourth. I thought I had their first, but I guess I don't. Uh, this was pretty good. I mean, the Indigo Girls, one of the uh, seminal folk rock groups of the 90s and late 80s. Uh, good stuff. Their harmonies are in as good a shape on this album as they've always been. Very good stuff. Then we have some soul, and some very, very good soul at that. The Neville Brothers with their album Family Groove. Yes, this one has a, a few covers on it. Uh, the, the opening track is Fly Like an Eagle, a cover of the Steve Miller song, which is kind of an interesting thing. They do a little bit of a soul take on it, so uh, gives it a bit uh, an interesting uh, dimension. And then I thought there was another... I could have sworn there was another cover song on here, but I'll be darned if I can find it. Um, but suffice to say, these guys are great. Uh, Aaron Neville's voice is fantastic. He sings lead on some of these songs, and another one of the brothers uh, sings lead. You know, other brothers sing lead on other songs. So very good, and that's a keeper. And so is this one. This one was the the winner winner chicken dinner of uh, the month, and I did not expect it to be. It is Holly Cole. She is a Canadian uh, jazz pop singer. I tried out one of her albums years ago and did not care for it, but for whatever reason, this album clicked with me. And obviously, since it's my uh, my number one CD from the uh, this month, uh, "Onion Girl" is my favorite song on this album. It's fantastic. It's got a great metaphor uh, in it in the lyrics. And gosh, there was another. Oh, she does a, a cover of River, which is uh, the Joni Mitchell song on here. Very good. And I thought there was another one. Oh, All the Pretty Horses. That's kind of a traditional folk song, and she does a good, uh, good rendition of that. So, yeah, very good stuff. Holly Cole, a Canadian jazz artist, uh, I would recommend checking her out. Dark Dear Heart is the name of this particular album. And this... Technically, this no, this was not an Epic Seconds album. This was in the $1 section at House of Records, as you can see here. So, yes, 95% of the CDs were from Epic Seconds. That particular one was from, from House of Records. So, you can call that cheating if you want to. Anyway, out with the old and in with the new. <clears throat> but first, I'm going to take a drink of water. He said, past tense. Okay, let's take a look at it. Tried to be smooth with that, but I didn't want to. Say. And there's the... Pop, up, pop up the... This thing here. I don't know what it's called. And... Trim off the excess... Put the scissors down before I hurt myself with them. And let's go ahead and get started. The first album is Ah, Patty Loveless, a country artist. When Fallen Angels Fly, that is the name of this album. So I always uh, am up for trying out country. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. I have a power cable in the way of where I'm stacking the CDs. Maybe I should stack the CDs somewhere else. That's a good uh, compromise. Huh? Next album is... Oh, <laughs> another John Tesh album. Uh, Discovery. It is by The John Tesh Project. Apparently a band. Yeah, Featuring the Tesh Project band with performances by undiscovered artists on guitar, violin, vocals, orchestra, harmonica, trumpet, bass, and harp. See if there are any uh, undiscovered artists that uh, whose names I recognize in here. Uh, Jeff Beal on trumpet. His name sounds vaguely familiar. Yeah, I am not. 
yeah, not seeing any recognizable names on here. So I still expect to, I, I hope to be enjoyed by, uh, uh, to be entertained by the CD. 1996 is the cover, the uh, copyright date on it. And then we have, oh, Bon Voyage. And this is self-titled, apparently. I have no idea what kind of music these guys do. Yes, my goal with uh, assembling these bargain bags and picking out the CDs was to have more um, recognizable names than my bargain bag had in the past. But still, there were some unknown things that I wanted to try out. Then we have... Oh, White Christmas. Uh, oh, the Boston Pops Orchestra with Arthur Fiedler. This is going to be fun to listen to. And this one, like, uh, I think, wasn't it in my... Not my last bargain bag, but the one before. There was a holiday CD, and what I'm going to do is save the holiday CDs until... Uh, a, I'm, I may have a holiday bargain bag. Probably my 12 CDs of Christmas that I will do at the end of the year. I will make sure and listen to the bargain bag ones. Or maybe I'll do a separate bargain bag CD episode of the holiday CDs I found in bargain bags. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And we have... Oh, Mindy Abair. Life Less Ordinary is the name of this one. And she is, I guess, a jazz saxophonist? Oh yeah, GRP Records is the label. So yeah, and GRP is a jazz label. So hmm. interesting. There are not a lot of female instrumental jazz artists out there. It's mostly a male-dominated field, I've noticed. So they, having a woman artist is a refreshing change. Then we have oh, Secret Garden. Yeah, if you recall, in my uh, my binder haul, the, that CD or two binders, actually, full of CDs that didn't have cases or anything. There were a few Secret Garden CDs in there, and I didn't find much to enjoy out of Secret Garden, but still, I will listen to this one and uh, give my thoughts on it. Uh, who knows? Like Holly, like with Holly Cole this time, maybe this will be the Secret Garden CD that clicks with me? Who knows? And then the next to last CD in here is James Taylor. I think it's a different James Taylor than, you know, the other one. <laughs> yeah, he's a different James Taylor than the other one. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, James J.T. Taylor, Master of the Game, is the name of the album. Released on MCA Records. And this looks like a late 80s. Gosh, I need to get my eyes checked and get a new prescription because I think my glasses are uh, not suiting me anymore. 1989, I believe, is the... Uh, Oh, and there's a song on here from Ghostbusters 2. So, yeah. Looks like an R&B or soul artist. So that'll be interesting to listen to. And... There we go. Uh, <coughs> oh, Horowitz. Vladimir Horowitz, I assume. Oh, performance is featured in the film Vladimir Horowitz, The Last Romantic. So, yes, a classical CD performed by... Uh, pianist Vladimir Horowitz. Okay. Never afraid to try a little classical music in the mix. So, what do you think? Uh, that's a, a fine and dandy assortment of CDs for the Nobe November, November, it's November, the November bargain bag. So, that'll do it for bargain bag for November of 2022. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, hit that like button and share it with your friends. And give me your thoughts, questions, suggestions, or constructive criticisms in the comments section below. Also, scroll down for the description for the link to my Twitter and Instagram feeds, and links to my favorite fellow YouTubers who are all worth checking out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and browse my past videos. And be sure to ring that notifications bell so you'll be the first to know each time I drop a new video. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and remember, life's too short to be a music snob.